Tulad sa ilang mathematical procedure, hindi may iwasan na magkaroon tayo ng pagkakamali o tinatawag na errors sa pag-conduct ng significance test. Ito yung tinatawag nating type 1 or type 2 errors sa inferential statistics. Now, sa diagram na ito, pinapakita yung type 1 and type 2 errors na tinatawag sa paggawa na ang significance test. Na yung first type of error, yung type 1 error, ay yung pag-reject ng null or rejecting the null even if the null hypothesis is true. Now, yung type 2 error naman is not rejecting your null hypothesis even if the null hypothesis is false. So, yan yung dalawang errors na ipofocus natin sa lesson natin today. Kung paano mag-distinguish ng type 1 error or possible type 1 error and type 2 errors sa isang hypothesis testing. Now, dito sa word problem na ito, a potato chip producer and a supplier of potatoes agree that each shipment of potatoes must meet certain quality standards. Now, if less than 8% of the potatoes in the shipments have blemishes, the producer will take the entire truckload. Otherwise, the truck will be sent away to get another load of potatoes from the supplier. Now, it isn't practical to inspect every potato in a given shipment. Instead, the producer inspects a sample of potatoes. On the basis of sample results, the potato chip producer uses a significance test to decide whether to take or reject the shipment. Now, Imagine nyo na nag-conduct tayo ng hypothesis testing base dito sa word problem na ito. So yung step 1, paggawa ng hypothesis. Step 2, yung conditions. Step 3, yung calculations. And then step 4, yung pag-reject or not reject ng null hypothesis. At yung step 5, yung pag-sulat ng conclusion. Now, maaaring magkaroon ng possible errors sa isang hypothesis testing base doon sa sample. Dahil nga estimated value lang yung ginagamit natin, meron pa rin margin of error na kung saan pwede tayong magkamali. At ito yung mga possible scenario na kung saan pwede tayong magkaroon ng type 1 or type 2 errors. Now, doon sa word problem natin na kung saan yung isang potato chip producer ay eh, nag-aangkat ng mga patatas para sa paggawa ng kanyang potato chips. Now, sa example na ito, yung P ay yung proportion ng potatoes with blemishes in the shipment. Tatanggapin niya lang yung mga patatas kapag kada yung patatas is less than 8% lang yung merong mga blemishes. At kapag ka naman ang patatas, eh, merong 8% or probably more blemishes, hindi niya tatanggapin yung truckload of potatoes. Now, Doon sa type 1 error, sinasabi na magkakaroon ng type 1 error kapag ka reject yung null hypothesis even if the null hypothesis is said to be true. Now, for this example, let's reject the null hypothesis. So, after our procedure, nireject natin yung null hypothesis which means yung mga proportion ng mga blemished potatoes is less than 8%. So, we rejected the null hypothesis even if the null hypothesis is actually true. So, ibig sabihin nun, meron talagang 8% ng mga blemish yung mga patatas. Kaya, nagkaroon tayo ng type 1 error. At mamaya, i-discuss natin yung mga consequences ng pagkakaroon ng type 1 error. So, once again, yung type 1 error is rejecting the null hypothesis even if the null hypothesis is said to be true. So, meron kayong type 1 error. Now, sa type 2 error naman is not rejecting your null hypothesis even if the alternative hypothesis is said to be false. So, ito yung ating type 2 error. So, paano magkakaroon ng, or paano natin i-interpret yung type 1 error and type 2 errors base dun sa word problem natin? Now, nagkaroon tayo ng type 1 error kasi sa type 1 error, ni-reject natin yung null hypothesis even if the null hypothesis is true. Therefore, yung potato chip producer accept accepted a truckload of potatoes kasi he believed na less than 8% lang daw yung mga blemished potato kaya niya inaccept yung truckload of potatoes pero sa totoong buhay ang truckload of potatoes ay eh, meron pala talagang 8% or more na mga blemished potato so yun yung type 1 error dun sa ating hypothesis testing at yung type 2 error naman natin so sa type 2 error naman natin is ni reject daw natin yung alternative hypothesis even if the alternative hypothesis is true. So therefore, yung potato chip producer sent the truckload of potatoes away kasi akala niya is 8% talaga yung mga may blemish potato wherein in actuality, yung ating potatoes or yung truckload of potatoes only contains less than 8% of the blemished potatoes. So yan yung mga type 1 
and type 2 errors na pwedeng mangyari sa hypothesis testing. Now, ano-ano naman yung mga consequences na pwedeng mangyari sa pagkakaroon ng type 1 error and type 2 error dito or base dito sa ating word problem. So, sa type 1 error, wherein we rejected the null hypothesis even if the null hypothesis is true, ang consequence niyan, yung potato chip producer made a batch of potato chips from blemished potatoes which may upset the consumer kasi akala niya less than 8% lang yung mga blemished potato. Now, do sa type 2 error naman, yung potato chip producer delayed his production by rejecting his supply of potatoes which may result in loss of revenue kasi nireject niya yung alternative hypothesis, so pinauwi niya yung truckload of potatoes even though yung alternative hypothesis natin eh talaga naman palang totoo. So yan yung mga possible type 1 and type 2 errors sa inferential statistics or significance testing.